Hi, ho guys and gals, Jeff King here, back again in the Den of Tools, back again with our, our new black on black merch. You like that? You can check that out in the merch store at denoftools.com. But anyway, it's winter up here already. Yeah, the snow's come. We got, I think we're on our third snowstorm up here. And luckily, PowerWorks was nice enough to send us their latest snowblower to help dig us out. You know what? This is a 20 inch wide, 60 volt snow thrower. It's a single stage. There's there's no uh, self-propelled or anything. This is definitely your, your homeowner grade DIY kind of level. So let's jump into it. Let me show you what this thing can do some more, what we did with it, and then we'll talk some more about the features, what else you can expect from PowerWorks because it's a brand you probably haven't heard of from a company. There's a little secret here at the end from a company that even if you haven't heard of the company, I bet you've seen their tools elsewhere. So let's jump into the action. Your turn. Oh, okay. Go on. All right. Right. Yep. Press the button down. Go on. Okay, and I included this part just because I wanted to show this off. To the fence there, to the left, was done by the neighbor with his gas power Toro snowblower. Part we did was to the right of that fence. And as you can see, there isn't much of a difference. Well, there you go. I, I, I gotta say, here's what I'm gonna say about it. the good. It, it got right down to the cement, as you can see there. I, I was amazed at how the level of clearing it did. It's super light, it's easy to pick up, it folds. It's inexpensive at $280. This is the price of most other tool only electric blowers and still cheaper by far than any of the gas blowers in this kind of class. Uh, the, the only negatives I really have about it are negatives that 
you really you gotta have you're gonna end up paying for if you want more and that is it like a dual stage that's gonna a single stage uses the imp from the impeller there to grab the snow and throw it through the discharge chute a two stage will grab it chuck it back there and then the second stage will kick it out of the chute which is nice that's where you get that real snow throwing kind of arc there um the other thing is like there's no lights on this uh it's not self-propelled uh it doesn't have hand warmers on the thing but you know what a pair of gloves and as I said, this is for light duty use. Don't, if you get wet, slushy kind of snow, this is not gonna be the tool for you. But like for us, we get a lot of snow. This thing will take up to 10 inches of depth of snow, 20 inches wide. The discharge chute swivels 180 degrees. I will say it works better when it's just a little bit off the center. So rather than trying to throw it straight sideways, throw it like just enough so it just clears the path all right if you do that you're going to get m a way more throw on it and it's going to go further further and get out of your way more um but as i said this is a keep it simple stupid kind of solution here a and i said because it's lightweight you can fold it up you can hang it in your garage when you're not using it it's super easy to use as you can see my 11 year old son was just going to town with it and he he paid the price there when the uh, the snow blew back at him. That was uh, that was interesting. Anyway, the uh, so this is PowerWorks and they are they have other stuff. So the, we talked about this. Here's the uh, the battery that, that goes with the system. It's one hundred fifty six dollars for their four amp hour battery. Now if you see, that's basically they're charging a hundred bucks to put the kit together. Uh, that's cheaper than the battery itself, much less including the charger. Now they also have a five amp hour there for $190, $189. But look at this, they've got a lawnmower, tool only, because you're buying the snowblower, you already got the battery, you want to use it for other stuff. Here's the lawnmower for $200. That's a 21 inch deck on that. Is it self-propelled? No, Is it's the same kind of thing. It, it just does the job you need. There's no bells and whistles. It's not going to make you a cocktail. It's not going to do any of the other stuff, but it is going to cut the grass. It's going to get the job done that you bought it for. And it's going to do it at a price point that, you know, most homeowners, are not, it's not going to really hurt the old pocketbook as much as some of the other stuff out there. Okay. And now they have a 60 volt string trimmer here also. Now this is a 16 inch. They also have a 14 inch. It's not in stock right now, but this is getting you the trimmer, the battery, the charger for $248. We got better deals out there. Here's the blower with a 2.5 amp hour battery. Look at this, at 450 CFM, that's gonna be uh, the lighter side of mid-tier blowers. It's gonna, it's gonna get the grass clippings, it's gonna get the really dry small leaves, it might even do some of the wet leaves, maybe even a little bit of snow, dusting off your car, stuff like that. $170, not a bad deal, considering you're getting the battery and charger along with that. What else we got the backpack blower, if you wanna get serious about it, that's tool only at 130. We got the hedger here with a battery and a charger for $245. Uh, we got the pole hedger, tool only. This one's a, actually not tool only. I take it back. This was a heck of a deal. Look at this. You're getting the, the pole hedger. You're getting the battery. You're getting the charger for $150. That's already a good deal. But, oh, there's a coupon on it. You clip it. You're going to save, was it $15, $30, I think? I don't know. I don't like doing math in my head because I usually get it wrong. But I think it's about $30 there. That's going to take it down to, what, $120? For the that's a ridiculous that's basically you're buying the battery and they're giving you the rest of it for free all right chainsaws you need chainsaws they got chainsaws we got it with a kit without a kit look at that 16 inch without a kit for a hundred dollars if you're buying any of those other combos why not grab the chainsaw while you're at it all right now they have a tiller it's currently out of stock but i just love the fact that they have a tiller probably get it in by by the time spring rolls around anyway as you see this thing here is uh Oh, they got the snow shovel also. That is, that's a, it's a nice little one. It's really light duty. It's tool only, so you're going to have to get it with something else. But there is the, uh, let's come back here, 279 There's that. And uh, so PowerWorks, as I said, this is not some small brand here. They've got a lot of stuff out there. Look at it. they got a bunch of different mowers. they got blowers. they got trimmers. they got D-grips and the, and the wide handle. And they got a cordless pressure washer. That's pretty cool. They got all sorts of stuff. So who's behind this is the question. And if you've seen any of this stuff before, especially if you've seen, where did I put it? The lawnmower. If you've seen the lawnmower and you've been looking at cordless stuff, you, you're like, wow, that looks a lot like some of the other brands I've seen, especially, say, Greenworks, because that's the parent company behind this. And Greenworks is, and what I think they're doing is I think that they're positioning the uh, PowerWorks 
as their uh, the position Greenworks is a top tier and Powerworks is more as a value brand. I think we call that like a, a level four tool here. Level one's professional, then you get value pro, prosumer, and I put Greenworks into kind of the prosumer, and I would put uh, Powerworks here in straight into that level four DIY weekend warrior kind of kind of level because you know what it does? It does exactly what you needed to do. It does the job you need to do for light duty kind of stuff. If you get light fluffy snow, if you only have small portions to do, you're not going to be doing like say the school parking lot or something like that with this. I, I hope. And and if you look at the Amazon page and you can scroll down here. I think that kind of backs me up on this because they come down here and what do they do? Well, first of all, 30 minute charge time with a full battery. But look at this, they compare directly the Powerworks to the Greenworks. And as you see, the Greenworks just looking at it, it's a heavier uh, unit there. It's got the little headlights built into the handle. Uh, it's got a little more, you know, bells and whistles on it and stuff. But uh, again, this is, if that's what you want, Great. If you want to spend a little bit extra money and, and you're in a place where you get a ton of snow and maybe you can justify it. You know what? Greenworks has got a two-stage blower if you want to go to that level. But for for me, you know, I don't have a huge driveway to do. Uh, and our street is gravel, so we only do a little bit of around. they got to be careful. Be really careful if you use any of these. In fact, they don't recommend them on gravel. Just to let you know. Also, I know someone's going to ask, can you use the batteries with Greenworks? No, you can't. Um, so would I recommend this system? I would recommend this for the people that it's intended to, which is people who are going to use light use. People are going to get light, fluffy snow, people who don't have huge driveways or, uh, you know, basically things you can do in under half an hour. You know, most of the houses I grew up in, you know, doing snow in the Midwest, I would do our driveway and I would do, and it would do our sidewalk. It would do it easily and do the back porch as, as well. And it would do it in half, under half an hour. Me shoveling might take a little bit longer. And also, you know what? If you're older and you're, it might be time to get a snow blower because I don't even want to talk about the amount of people who have a heart attack, you know, shoveling snow every year. That, that's a number we don't want to get into. Anyway, I want to thank PowerWorks for sending this over to me uh, for review. I really appreciate it. I got to tell you, I was kind of iffy because I've tried 40 volt blowers up to this point. And, I, and they didn't really cut it. And I didn't realize when they sent this, I thought they said 40 volt. I didn't realize it was 60 volt. So I was super excited when I got the package. And, and, and you know what? It didn't let me down. Yeah, it doesn't have any of the bells and whistles, but I'm a keep it simple kind of kind of person. So it works for me. Anyway, let me know what you think about it down below. Is this going to meet your needs? If not, what kind of stuff are you looking for? If you want us to test other kind of snow blowers and stuff like that, let me know down in the comments. While you're there, don't forget to chomp the old like button, smash the subscribe, ring the bell on the way out. You all take care, God bless, and as always, shine on.